The things that influenced me to go into the military is I grew up in a small town in Indiana. My family was always about serving their country. Both of my uncles served in the military. My brother served in the Marine Corps. And one of the reasons I went to the military at a young age, my parents had divorced by the time I was around 13. At that time, I was making straight A's. I was a gifted athlete, but it really changed my structure at home. And so my grades started falling, so they kind of gave me the option to either go to the military school or go to the military. We found out about a program in the Army Reserve, so I joined that at 16, came back, finished high school, then uh, joined the Marine Corps after that. Well, my book, Heroes of the Stage Country, Serving Country, came as a result of the six success we did have with Heroes of Baca, because we've won four gold medals and three silver medals. We've given over $25,000 in cash just in a few years with it. But in my conversations, talking to other people about people that served in the military, I have a close friend of mine, Larry Brought, and another friend, Stephen Cochran, that I talked to about the book, and they would mention different people that had served, like George Jones had served in the Marine Corps. It's like, wow, I didn't know that, but a lot of people would like to know that. Yeah, well, Willie Nelson was also in the military. He served in the Air Force. He was only on it in a short time because he injured his back really bad. But Willie's also had a great love for the military, and a lot of people think that's where he kind of self-medicated for the first time with that. But he's a big advocate of that, and we're starting to see now, too, where marijuana is being used through the VA system to help with post-traumatic stress. So he was really a pioneer in that area. Well, Johnny Cash is very fascinating too. Uh, Johnny grew up very, very poor as we all know, and he could never really afford to buy his first guitar, but with his first Air Force check, that's what he bought his first guitar with. And Johnny had such an ear for sounds, what he did, he was a Morse code operator. So what he did, he intercepted messages from the Iron Curtain. We were still in the heart of the Cold War. The driving force me to write this book was, well, another inspiration was my son Logan. He was probably nine or 10 at the time, and I've seen the world he's grown up in. It's a very dangerous world, but I also want him to see to know about these men and women that serve their true stories and not realize that everything's politically correct and everybody's perfect, that these men and women, they made mistakes, but yet they overcame them. They overcame adversity. They, they took a chance in life. I want my son to know that. And I think a lot of other young people and American people need to be reminded. They just want us to know that we're truly thankful for their service and that we really care because so many times they come back for people who are famous about nothing. These men and women in this book are famous for a reason, not just because they served their country, but they came out and continued to serve after they served their country.